Hey there everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within. In the last episode we finally managed to take out Exalt once and for all. However, we did not have much time to celebrate as another alien craft landed, a very large one, and so our team is about to go check it out. Now, um, it looks like there's some pretty tough enemies. Uh, more of those uh, sectopods maybe even. But despite that, I'm still going to bring uh, Annette because I want to just, we need to level up uh, her psionics as well as Valkyries. We need to have a couple powerful psionics for the last mission. So we need to keep doing that. But she's, she, even even though she's not quite a colonel, she's still a sniper, which are powerful at any at any rank. So we have her, we have Panaka, the Maiden, Zero, Valkyrie, and Aikido. Here we go. Oh, one last thing I did. I, in between missions, I used a little bit of our extra money we had left by one more uh, plasma pistol, which I gave to Zero, and then uh, Annette has uh, the plasma pistol that we had given some time back to um, Don Watson. So, our snipers have better pistols now. Always a good thing. Launch the mission. Site, setting down. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. We track the alien craft to a landing site in a rural area outside of a small town. We should move to secure the site and clear out any hostiles we can find. All right. Read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash, so expect heavy resistance. This is a very large ship. Very large, isn't it? I actually don't know if we've seen one quite like this yet. All right. Well, we are going to move forward kind of slowly and cautiously. Just going to move everybody forward and kind of put them into overwatches. In the Valkyrie, who can run really far, she's going to be uh, our one who runs up all the way and kind of takes a peek around the corner there. All right, and I think we'll actually have the maiden. Well, the maiden's gonna have to go much farther to get up there. So we'll have her peek around this way instead. Okay, so we've got some uh, mutons there. We're gonna have Aikido move up to this spot so next turn he can uh, rush in there and be of use. And then Annette. Where do we want Annette? I'm just going to have her move uh, Got it, moving. here for now. We'll figure out how to get her in there and help out next time. Oh, I love it when that actually works. So oh, cool. Not a huge amount of damage with the pistol, but more than we uh, normally would. Oh, oh, okay. it's just some face huggers. <laughs> They're not that scary. Once we keep together. So Zero can probably take out that guy. Pretty easy. Although I'm, I might want to have her go flying in the air to where she can maybe shoot those guys back down that way. 
so in that case, Aikida might be a better choice to have run up here and deal with him. The Maiden's actually taking quite a bit of damage. So I might want to move her back a little bit so she can repair. Or, alternatively, we might be able to have Aikida... No, he can't quite run and gun far enough to take out that guy. Thinking we're going to have Aikida come up. Have him run and gun in here. And, uh, right there. On the move. This one out. Then I'm gonna pull the Iron Maiden. Just uh, actually, we're gonna have the Iron Maiden come down here and go into Overwatch, and that way she can heal up, but she can also uh, have an eye out for those face huggers. We're going to put Annette up there where the Maiden had been. Zero is going to take off here and get... Oh, we don't want to have her go too high up. Thinking like there. There we are. Now we have sight on both of them. Hopefully they can't fire back at us. That's the only thing I'm worried about. looks like they're at, we're out of they're out of our range with the pistol so we're probably out of their range of their rifles all right and panaka where do i want panaka to go oh i might move valkyrie back maybe we're gonna move valkyrie just slightly here have her uh, throw a oh, wow, 10. I didn't realize it healed. Oh, that's right. We upgraded them. All right. Well, we'll have her throw a med pack on herself. And then I'm going to move Panaka up to where she was. Aye, aye, and we can Commander. get at least one shot off with Panaka this turn. Maybe. They're not very good shots, are they? Might be better to... Can't quite reach. And with only two of them, I don't really want to waste a rocket. We'll go with a 35. Nope. Okay. Well, Target's we were kind of reaching for the stars there anyway. Or something stomping around. That's probably one of those sectopods. Alright, so he's overwatched. He's pulling way back. Take a shot of Aikida. Ooh. something that sounded like face of error. Interesting. You wouldn't expect them to come out of stealth over there. But I guess they did. That was a little wide. Here's our second second chance. Still okay. Those are both terrible shots. I don't know what's going on there. But... All right, so let's have uh, 
have Annette here. Yep. Okay, so she's going to use her psionics to kill that guy. There we go. And then we'll have... Why has the maiden got such a terrible shot on that? I, I don't quite understand that. One's down that way. We'll have Valkyrie here. 78, 78. Can you use your mind? Oh, you can't use... Oh, because they're mechanical. That makes sense, actually. Okay. Well, we will just kill them the old-fashioned way, then. And where's zero? Oh, that ain't what we wanted to do. I hit tab, that's what I was trying to do. Alright, so 65 on him. Kita, what's your shot looking like? 11%. That is not the kind of shot we want to take. There's not really a good spot we could move you to where you'd be in a better... I don't know what's out that way. Move Panaka down here. And the reason for that is to kind of to keep this guy from moving too much back this way, also to just sort of see what's ahead, which doesn't look like much. And then we are going to have Zero shoot the other face hugger. I don't know if we can put a pistol, we'll have to use one of our some of our rifle ammo, that's fine. Take it out so we don't have to worry about it anymore. We'll leave the maiden here to heal up. I wish Aikido's run and gun was still working. I don't know why we have such a terrible shot. He doesn't. He's not in that great a cover either. I wonder if we could huck a grenade. There we go. We can't hit him, but it would destroy his cover. I wonder if we could Copy that. Let's inch forward a little bit more. See if we can hit him now. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Throwing grenade. So that did a little bit of damage. He doesn't have good cover anymore. Now he's on the run. We should probably kind of start pushing that way. I'm going to have zero move over here. Where if he does come out, we'll have a good shot with her. Actually, we're going to throw a battle scanner. I'm going to back over here, maybe, and just get an idea of what might be hiding in that direction. I don't know if we throw it up high, if it would scan. Probably not. Going kind of in there. Alright, so there's nothing immediately around the corner here. There might be something a little farther. Not too worried about that just now. Time to motor. Alright, so... There he is don't know if the net has a very good shot. It doesn't look like a, a very good one. Definitely not. Nikita could run, he, run here. Let's have him go there. So he's out of, out of the guy's line of sight this time. And we'll have a net go on to Overwatch in case that guy tries to move. Valkyrie, I don't know how far and I want you to run there. 
We have no idea what's over here. I think I might just leave Valkyrie where she's at. She can protect our flank. The Maiden. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the Maiden up here next to Valkyrie so we can use a med pack on her next turn. Because those repair servos only do so much. Okay, we got some guys coming in. Kita, how'd you miss that? At least she didn't like shoot Panaka. Looked like he was going to. Okay. So we've got we've got floaters in here. Which this is the kind of situation I'd love to use a rocket on, because I feel like that would be a good use of one. I don't know if we can hit. Oh, we can! I keep forgetting that it has, like, special, um... Like, it'll, it won't go straight, it'll move around now. So that's great. So let's do that. Won't even know what hit em. We don't have to deal with them. Hoping that would kill them all. That's all right. We can finish them off now. Can you feel the pressure? That's a kill for Annette. Zero. I don't know who I want her to kill. Oh, it looks like she only has a sights on that guy anyway. So that's who we're going for. Muton. Alright, and Aikida has not a fantastic shot on uh, that guy. I'm kind of tempted to move him like up over here, maybe. I mean, he's not in a great spot. He's in a bad spot where he's at. So is Panaka. We need to take both these guys out if we can. So I'm kind of curious. Let's actually go back to Valkyrie. We might be able to get a shot from here. Off the big. Uh, and she can actually use a mind play. Oh! She's gonna fail. Not ideal. Alright. Bring the maiden over, see if she can get a shot. Yes. Not a great shot, but it's a shot. And a miss. Well, Aikida... He's in a bad spot, so it's not going to hurt to move him. We're going to bring him up here and just take this one out. And then we're just going to have to see what this one wants to do on its turn. They're moving away from us. I don't think any of our people are badly injured enough it can just one I'm shot. Right. Okay, and it's going to miss. That's fine. Fifty-three. Would our pistol be better? Not really. Those will go for it, though. There we go. All right. Another kill for Annette. So, I, this ship is so big, I don't know which way we're supposed to go. I don't know, like, which way is the front and which way is the back. I guess we'll swing into this room we kind of opened up here. I like he does just peek in here. Okay, this looks, because it's got this big opening, looks like this might actually be the back of the ship. So, 
zero. I'm gonna have you stay right where you are on Overwatch for now, because we might not even invest too much time into going this way. Where's Valkyrie? She can run in there and really get a good, good look at everything. Over here. Oh, okay. So we are definitely gonna have to move everybody in. Although I might... Hmm. Okay, so he's in there. Right over there. This is not what I was hoping to find here. I was hoping this would be a whole room full of a lot of nothing. That is just not the case. Alright, well... Tanaka, I'm gonna have... I'm gonna be kind of risky here. We're gonna have her come in this way. I think the key to dealing with these guys is to kind of spread out um, because they have that big AoE attack. You don't want to get hit by it. Also not what we, what, we, what we wanted to find over there. Ah, okay. Well, that's all. Okay, that's fine. We are doing great. Way to go, Aikida. And was that... I think it was Zero who got the reaction shot on that other one? Okay, well. That was a very potentially scary situation that turned out to be really not. Ceased. Okay. And that guy's still down there. And I'm worried he's probably charging up some sort of super attack. So I'm gonna try and get everyone who was in here in any position to just kind of move somewhere else. Okay. Now, this is not a very safe spot in terms of cover. Well, now we have vision on it, but it's still... What's it doing? Might be charging up an attack. We're probably going to move Aikida here in a second. Um, Valkyrie... There's a good spot. We're going to have you go around here, get full cover. And then from here she can start picking off these little drones. I don't think the I don't think the sectopod can really shoot at her from there. Maybe with its AOE attack. Um, that's probably it. Now we never healed up the maiden. I forgot to do that. How much does restorative mist do? Kind of a waste to use it on itself right now and nothing else. So. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna bring the maiden in here. Again, from this spot, she should be out of sight of the sectopod. We'll bring her over there, get her healed up before we send her in. Aikida is... Okay, he actually has an attack. Not a super good attack, but we can take two shots. Oh, no, we can't. Uh, I'm actually going to pull Aikida around here for a turn, so he can um, reload and get ready to really start hitting hard. And then we have Net, who... Our snipers are actually really good for dealing with these things, because we can outrange them. So I'm going to get Annette, and I'm going to put her, like, I don't know, over here or somewhere. Maybe up here, where I... And that might be a little too close. Somewhere, though, where she's going to be too far away for it to shoot at her, but she can hopefully still shoot at it. I understand. I'm thinking this would be an okay spot for now. And then zero, same story. We're gonna have. Uh, uh, why can't we do that? Obstacles are present. Okay. Uh, we'll have zero move forward here. And yeah, she doesn't need to be in flight at the moment. 
we'll get her up in a good spot. And then Panaka, I don't know why we can't. Why is it not letting us run in there? I suppose we'll move her over this way. I want to get her like over here somewhere, but there's for some reason the door wasn't was blocked by something. Okay, the aliens are taking their sweet time. Where was Valkyrie again? And have her throw one of her med packs on the maiden. She needs to move a little bit closer to do. There we go. All right, now we're good to go. That thing's still over here. Kita just does not have a wonderful spot to take cover. And I might actually... Moving. Let's see here. I want to get someone who has vision on it again. It must have actually moved kind of farther into this corner almost. So maybe over on this side would be the best place for all of our people. Yes, Commando. Get somewhere where we can really start shooting at it from a distance. Actually, if we could get Zero up top, and she could shoot down, that'd be a really good, uh, good place. Let's have her go up there and try and do that. Let's have Aikido reload so we can really start emptying uh, quite a few shots on this thing. There's meld out there. I'm not worried about it, really. Not when we got one of these things roaming around. Well, I had thought that up there might be in a good spot for zero, but maybe not. Okay, so that thing just disappeared. It's just not over here anymore. It must have walked out the back. So it might be like over here, which would be pretty bad, actually. I'm gonna have the maiden take a look. Very cautiously, of course. Good to go. Have Ikea. Oh no, it is still there. It's just. Uh, like right around that corner, just hugging it as much as it can. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to uh, do what we can do here. That's 10 damage, that's not a bad start. Anaka, can we find something you can take cover behind that's not the alien power source, maybe? I think so. Love we'll Panaka Overwatch. Yeah, there is just no real good way to shoot at this thing where we're not putting ourselves in pretty a pretty dangerous situation, actually. Uh, and Aikida is not even in a super good spot where he's at. I'm gonna have Valkyrie move in here just a little bit, and 
If I can get some smoke down so that it hits Aikida, but not the Sectopod, it would be ideal. And then even if the Sectopod wants to try and, like, move into the smoke on its turn, I wouldn't really be that upset because it would get it out of that corner and into a spot where we can more effectively deal with it. Is that zero it was shooting at, or...? Maybe it had been charging that up to deal with Aikida, but he moved, luckily. Thank goodness for that smoke. Okay. So... Actually, we can have zero move over here, and... Maybe... Or maybe not. Well, I suppose this is not the worst. And we're going to Overwatch. Okay, I'm going to have Panaka move down here. And I guess that's still not even going to be a great spot. Let's go take things a little bit so we can get a better look here. Alright, Aikida is going to take... Two more shots. Miss on, well, on one of them. I have a net move over there. Ooh. dangerously close to this thing, but it's just in such a terrible spot, we kind of have to. I mean, it's just, it's the only way we can get close to deal with it. Alright, and then the Maiden. Actually get in pretty close if we want. I think she should be safe. Well, probably, maybe. If it wants to shoot at the Maiden, it can. She can take a few more hits. That's exactly who I don't want it to shoot at. Ooh. Very lucky. You go ahead and take first first attack. Very good. And we'll see if Annette can get this kill. If not, we got plenty of other people who can, probably. 53 is not great, but we'll take it. Alright. I didn't get it! Valkyrie should be able to finish it off. worried about that, but they're all right. So. Okay, I'm going to start gathering everybody up in one spot. We're going to use this as a good opportunity to use that uh, restorative mist ability that the Maiden has on everyone who needs it. I'm actually going to have Zero just kind of jump down here and meet up with the rest of the group. Anaka's fine. We'll actually have Panaka take a peek out this door and make sure there's no one out there who's going to jump on us. Doesn't look like it.
get everybody over here, and Annette. I suppose I do owe you that much. Now these guys are still probably going to be pretty beat up. I don't think the restorative mist is quite as powerful as our med packs, but right now it's definitely a good time to use it. All right. Back online. Everybody else just kind of reload. Wait, I have to reload. Okay, so. I think I'll have Valkyrie use uh, one med pack on herself. Aikida's probably okay. Uh, we need to get him some gene mods or something. He'd be another one who'd be good to have him. Um, so we'll do that. We'll get everyone moving forward here. We've cleared out the back of the ship. Uh, there's might be a few more guys in the cargo area, but probably nothing more than, I think it may be a few more mutons. And then we will head up to the front and deal with, the uh, there's probably an ethereal up there or something. Gotta love those upgraded med packs. Especially when you couple them with, uh, people who have, uh, the, the supports who have even more powerful, uh, med packs on top of that. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna have these two just kind of wait here and have the rest of the group run to meet up with them. We'll move as a unit. something pretty much directly ahead of us. I think I heard another sectopod or maybe just a normal mech if we're lucky. I kind of doubt. And I don't know why this... This okay, door is whatever. not letting us yeah. buy it again. I don't know what weird glitch this is, but it's annoying. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go around since the game's kind of bugging out on us there. Um... We'll have Valkyrie move way ahead and get a peek down that uh, alley. And it looks fairly clear. I'm going to have Zero move down and get ready to deal with anything that does decide to come out of that alley at us. I think we'll just have everyone beat up here as a group again and basically do what we were going to do with that door before it decided to act all weird. Solid copy, Commander. I understand. Lost both the melds, that's fine. It's fine. Okay. We can have Valkyrie dash ahead and check out this next little cargo bay. It looks clear. We already know that one's clear because we dealt with it earlier. We have the maiden kind of go forward and go into Overwatch. We'll just kind of inch our way along. So we make sure that there's nothing to be afraid of along here. Rolling out. Edel will go up there too and 
the next turn, the two of them can kind of move together. Oui. And we'll put uh, that here. Put her and Zero both on Overwatch. As somewhere out there, there's a there is another sectopod. I can hear it. I don't know where it is, but I know it's out there somewhere. Rolling out. I'm gonna have Panaka go up here to cover uh, Valkyrie, and they're gonna move along this edge. Kind of how I'm thinking that's gonna work. These two are gonna move forward along this alley. Yes, Commander. back to her rifle, that'd be alright though. Oh, okay. A normal mech. I'm okay with dealing with that. I'll take a normal mech over another sectopod any day. And it looks like a sectoid commander. Which could be annoying if we get a mind control, but I'm not too worried about that. The Zero could probably kill this guy immediately. Um, and Annette has your rifle. Probably has a fairly decent shot as well. 73 is not terrible. Don't know if she could kill him with a 73, but we'll go with it. Get a crit. Not quite. It's all right. Hmm. Let's have the uh, maiden move up here. Oh, I should have had Aikido run in first. Ugh. That was a little sloppy of me. Then Aikida will have him run here, and then on the next turn we can have him dash in and deal with that sectoid commander. Zero, I'm gonna have her move forward. These two are also just kind of kind of sprint forward. A lot of empty space in between us and the enemy right now that I'd kind of like to just fill, you know. Double time. Okay, so this is good. This is actually kind of what I was hoping would happen: is that that sectoid commander would just come out of hiding and reveal himself without us having to really go in there and look for him too much. Uh, oh, that's probably not. That's definitely not enough to do with him right away. Actually, Valkyrie's got a really good shot, doesn't she? Blank there. Perfect. Then, net, maybe, uh, we'll try it. I just really want to get have her get some experience. If she can't hit what she didn't, then that's okay. We got lots of other people who can finish this thing off who are right there. Akita, for instance. All right, I'm just gonna have Zero Overwatch where she's at, and Panaka on the move. Can move in and take a look. Let the maiden get up here and take a look around too. 
Oh, okay. I didn't want to pull more guys right away. I didn't expect we would, but... We have one Muton. That's not too bad. That Ethereal, though, has to die uh, soon. Or else he's going to start mind-controlling guys. So we need to get our people together. Um, like, right away. And I'm going to move the Maiden somewhere where that Sectopod can't start. It's not Sectopod. Uh, Muton can't immediately start shooting at her. There we go. He's gonna have to move out of there. Which hopefully will trigger, uh, one of our overwatches. Nope. Alright. Alright, Annette is falling behind, so we're gonna move her up. Try and get her with the rest of the group. Zero, I'm gonna have her, uh, whoop, not do that. Have her take off and get up here a little bit where she can get some aerial advantage on shooting down in on those guys. Just have her get out her pistol. Okay, so the Muton's in there. Thinking we're gonna throw a grenade and destroy some of his cover. Which it looks like he might have moved, actually. He's not where I thought he was. So I'm gonna have Valkyrie peek in through this door here. Can. Let us have the Maiden peek in through this door. What is with the doors? They're not they're acting really weird on this mission. Okay, well we'll have the maiden reload then. Oh, and Kita come up and take a look inside. Oh, okay, there's the... So the Muton, uh, I don't know where he went, but the, the Ethereal's right over there. And I would really like to kill him if we can. I don't think we'll be able to kill him right away, but we can at least wound him pretty good here. Control Aikida, which he's going to succeed at. That's not good. Uh, but nothing we can't deal with. No, we don't want to shoot Aikida, so we're not. We're going to have to be very careful here that we don't Overwatch. Else we might accidentally kill someone we don't want to. But that guy's wounded, and Valkyrie can get a, a good flank on him. Zero percent to do that. Okay. Man, these guys are hard to hit, even though they're like right out in the open. Reflect attack. I forgot they could do that, apparently. Okay. Well. Luckily, Valkyrie was not the only one within range of dealing with him. There we go. Something over here. Alright, we still have a muton out there somewhere. Oh, there he is, okay. He's hiding behind the power source. I'm not gonna shoot at him right now, we're just gonna have our people go into Overwatch, and if he decides to move, then we will be able to deal with him. To Actually, position. Panaka might be able to deal with now. And... Oh, that's not... Not a great... Why is that such a terrible shot? Alright, we're gonna have her overwatch as well. And then... Um, here next turn, we can get someone in there and we can deal with more effectively. Aikido, probably. I was going to see if the Maiden could run in and use one of her uh, melee attacks, but not quite close enough. Aikida can take him out. Oh. Maybe. Alright, well that was not ideal. Um, 
what you want. I wonder. Where's Valkyrie? Valkyrie can do this. I know how we're going to deal with this. We can hit the... No, I want her... Not up there. Right there. Controls are a little annoying in this sometimes. Okay. Use your psionics. Failed. Why is that always failing? Alright, well I guess we will bring in the maiden. Uh, at this point in the game, I really, it's kind of embarrassing when we keep missing these really pretty easy attacks. Guess that's just another the way day, it is, though. Another successful all right, operation. I think we did pretty good. We didn't get the meld. That's all right. We didn't lose anyone, though. That's that's great. We uh, we took a good amount of damage, but we're dealing with some stuff tough, tough guys now. So we did good. Valkyrie's got a promotion for her Psy, so telekinetic field, a field that lasts, grants extra defense, very nice, or mind control. We are going to go with the field because she is support. We'll get the mind control uh, on Annette when she eventually, eventually levels up her Psy. So we've got a bunch of corpses, a bunch of materials. We, wait a minute. We still got meld. How did we still get meld, even though we didn't get the meld? That's very strange. And I'm not going to worry about it too much. Got a lot of good gear. So. All right. Council report in four days. Check up on our research. Light plasma rifle. Don't really know what the point of doing these is anymore, but you know what? Let's. Why not? Why not? Buy items. Don't have enough money to buy anything. Gallop chamber finishes in two weeks. Don't have money to buy any other things. Alright, I guess that we are. Actually, no. Let's see. We can probably afford some very basic gene mods. And I was thinking I'd like to get some for Aikida. Um, there was one... Where was it? Adaptive Bone Marrow. Yes. This is going to make it so he will regenerate uh, health. It's basically the soldier equivalent to the repair servos that the Maiden has. So, we are going to do that. I'll have the selected volunteer sent to surgical and he should be ready in three days, the genetic modification which we complete, should be scanning for more than that, so he'll be ready for the next mission. I'm almost certain of it. All right, there's our light plasma rifle. We don't really need <laughs> EMP cannon coming up next, which we also don't really need at this point. Incoming transmission. Excellent work, Commander. Council report. This council is pleased to see our continued support of this project has been worthwhile. We hope that your current Did real good. Got a good chunk of money. I really wish we could get that last satellite in, in Russia. Threat. We Might. will be in yeah. touch, Commander. At this point in the game, I don't know if there's much point to even trying, but if we have more money than we know what to do with, we will. Oh. Any other researches we can even do? I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. New I've foundry project. New to work in the lab. Nope, we've we've researched everything. The new we have engineers done it all. This morning, Commander. We but can do foundry stuff, but I, I don't here. think any of it's really worth our time. I mean, we don't use shivs. I just don't really like them. Drone capture might be okay. I don't know if they can. If we can capture them. I don't know if they can repair mechs. I know they can repair shivs. 
advanced flight. That might be okay if we get more cyber disc wrecks. Uh, this one could be useful. I think this, um, hmm, shaped armor. Oh, okay, this is for mech suits. We'll get this one. And Sentinel drone, that's for the ships. We'll get that. We're certainly keeping the boys down in the foundry busy. I'll let them know you've got another project What else do we need production. to get? We need to get uh, Psy armor. Phoenix cannon. Everything else is... We pretty much have almost everything else we need at this point. I suppose we'll just kind of hold on to mine shield. This could be good. This might be worth getting at least one of. We'll try this out. All right. We're gonna keep Commander, scanning. You should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Really? Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Well, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, our ships, our, our demon fighters are equipped with, like, the best guns you can get, and they're fast. We're in pursuit. Take a look here. That is a big ship, though. That is a very big ship. Oh. Well, I was <laughs> worried about nothing. All right, we're going to send the Sky Ranger, but I'm thinking this is going to be maybe. We should double check that we have a demon with a fusion lance at every continent, at least one. And it looks like we do. All right. Okay, let's deal with this UFO. So, looks like Aikida is back. Annette, I think Annette was in the med bay. Was that where she is? No, Valkyrie's in the med bay. Okay, well, this will probably be the team we are rolling out with then. I don't really see any problem with this. So, until then, I have been Ace. Thank you for tuning in to the Team Condor's playthrough of XCOM Enemy Within, and I hope to see you next time.